welcome to Bruce Wingston Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Independence Day from the River. Hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back, hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song's in the key of F major. And you're gonna to wanna to put a capo on fret three. So we're doing the 12 string kind of acoustic parts here. Okay, it's quite a slow one, about 84 BPM. 
let's take a look at the chords first. So you've got kind of three types of G chord here, G5 power chord, middle finger, third fret low E, uh, and then open G, third fret B, and then third fret high E. I'm blocking the A string out with the underside of your middle finger. Okay, uh, and then we've got a standard G major chord. You can play that with the first, second, and third, or second, third, and fourth. So first finger, second fret um, A, third finger, third fret low E, and third finger high E, okay? And then you also can play a version of it you know, with your third and fourth fingers, very common way for Bruce to play it. Uh, just your third finger, third fret low E, and little finger, um, third fret high E, okay? So there's three, and then we've got a D sus two chord, really nice chord here. Uh, first finger, second fret G, third finger, third fret B, and then an open E string, sounds amazing. Uh, now I think this is what he's doing. Again, my ears may be misleading by the uh, 12 string, which I haven't got a 12 string, so I aim to emulate it with a few tricks on, on logic that I use. Um, so a standard A major chord, first finger, second fret D, middle finger, second fret G, third finger, third fret B. Now also an A over E chord, okay, and maybe my ears are deceiving me with a 12 string, but also if you haven't got a 12 string, this the parts I've written make it sound more like a 12 string, okay? Um, so you can simplify it if you have got a 12 string, I think, because of all the uh, different octaves. So A over E, bar the second fret, D, G, and B, and then little finger, one, two, three, four, five, on the high E string. Okay, so that's A over E. Um, so in the song structure, I'll put up on the screen now, so you better see all those kind of chords there. Uh, the only thing I've probably missed off there is a normal D chord, um, which is like your D sus two, but with your middle finger on. So first finger, second fret G, third finger, third fret B, middle finger, second fret high E. So not too many chords. It's an absolutely brilliant song from the river. Um, yeah, lucky enough to see this in, the, uh, in Chicago when they did the river tour, 2013, something like that. Amazing. Um, yeah, just a really powerful song. Um, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to go through the 12 string parts today. Okay, so there's, there is, there's a clean electric part, uh, which is in standard tuning, and there's another acoustic part I think that's going on. Um, if you get the tabs via the jsmusicschool.co.uk store or via codes, which is still downloadable on the store, um, they'll have all three parts, okay? So whether you get it in Guitar Pro or PDF format, we'll have all three sections there. So let's go through the, um, the, the, the verses, okay? So basically you've got the, well, you've got the intro first, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of do the partial G5 and just put your third, your four fingers there. And these gonna these are gonna be eighth notes, so one and two and three and four and. Uh, one and two and three and four and, okay? So open G, then the third fret B, third fret high E, then do those three notes again. And then I think he's to open B and then high, uh, high E again. So one and two and three and four. Now, I think this is what he's doing, D sus two, but adding this um, octave here, I think it sounds really nice. So it's like your D sus two, but with your first and second, and then add your little finger on the fifth fret high E. Okay, so it's more like a, a power chord to start with. So D, G, B, and then G, then high E, then the third fret B string, and then take your little finger off, play the open E string, then back to the B string. It's a really nice, well, this is a D-sus2 bar, so uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, take your little finger off, down, up. Sounds really nice. And then you go back to the G5 bar, bar again. And then a normal D -sus, uh, another D-sus2 bar is just going up and down. Again, he will feel free to vary it up, just use this. He does it, a lot of variation, both live and on record. So D, G, B, G, D, G, B, D. Again, all eighth notes. Half a bit each. Then back to G5. And then the D sus2 with a, the high, the high note in the fifth fret. Uh. And then A over E, but just doing the, the G, B and the E string. So same picking pattern as your kind of the G5 bar. Uh, so G, B, E, G, B, E, and then the G in the B strings. Okay, and then the final bar, just a normal G chord here, and you're gonna go Low E, and then the D, and the G, and then I kind of like to do upstrokes, more like an arpeggio, up, up, and more like Bruce does, up, then down on G, D, 
up on G. So this bar again, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's, again, if you look at the song structure, that's kind of the main eight bar theme. It's just some slight variations here and there. So um, the first and second verses are gonna be exactly the same as what you did in the intro. Apart from the final bar of the first verse, it sounds like he's doing something like this, which is this. It's quite hard to uh, listen to this bar over and over again. And this is, I think, what's happening. So get your kind of your normal G chord. I'm just playing it with my third, second and third fingers here. Okay, so um, E, A, D, then upstroke on the A. And I think he's doing open A string, up on the D back with your middle finger on the A string, then up on the D. So one and two and three and four and. Apart from that, everything else is the same as what you just did in the intro, okay? And then the, um, the second verse, the final bar, is what you had on the final bar of the intro. Cool, okay, so, and then you're gonna go into the chorus section. So all the choruses, again, double check the song structure. Again, all the song structures will be in the description. So you can kind of copy and paste those into a word format and just really break down everything. It makes it a lot better, more productive to learn. So here what we've got a normal G chord. Okay, so here at strumming rise, you've got down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Counting wise, one, two, and a three, and four, and. So that's one quarter note, one eighth note, two sixteenths, and four eighths. One, two, and a three, and four, and. Then D. Again, feel free to vary up A, G, and you do those um, four bars twice for each verse, uh, chorus, sorry. So yeah, four bar phrase done twice for each of the first, second, and third chorus. Cool, now basically in the third verse, I think he's just doing this one bar slightly differently with this D sus two. So that's the only really real reason I can hear. So um, basically gonna start off as normal G5, D sus two with a high, it sounds really nice. G5 again, D sus two again with a high E string, G5. Now the, the, occasionally he's doing this bar, which is down, up, down, up. D sus two of the open E, which sounds really nice. So D, G, B, G, E, G, B, G, and then back to the A. And so, yeah, so again, pretty much standard. Then you're into the second chorus, same as the first. Uh, and then the sax solo, it's the same chord progression. Again, really simple. Again, a lot of it's about that, the layers, the really nice organ, and, and I've aimed to replicate Roy's piano as best as I can. Um, and really nice sax solo. So again, it's a lot about the layers uh, here. Okay, so, and then the sax solo, yeah, so you're basically just doing the same thing as you did in your third verse there. Um, so same chord progression. Okay, and then the fourth verse, again, exactly, pretty much exactly the same as what you did in the third verse in the sax solo. Fifth verse, exactly the same again. Third chorus, same as the first and second. And then the outro, do the same chord progression twice and it fades out on record. I've just done it twice just to make the backing track um, a little bit more you know, useful. So uh, again, don't forget any backing tracks you can get via Subscribestar and codes are sent out to your email address on the seventh of every month to buy, to get files from uh, JS Music School website. So instant downloads, PDFs, guitar profiles, backing tracks. So yeah, so basically just do two lots of those, um, the normal verse, the DSUS2. Version, third verse, sax solo, and so on, uh, and then just end on a D. Okay, so again, it's, it's um, depending on wh whether you like the picking style, um, it's quite, kind of, you know, quite fiddly in that respect, but really simple song structure. Again, classic pop songwriting from Bruce. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's one of my favourite songs from the river. It's a phenomenal song. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions about Subscribe Star? Uh, don't forget in subscribe star you can get extra chords and tabs that pop up during this lesson breakdown of this uh, of the of the um the video so you have the same video but with extra tab and chord diagrams so uh, and also all guitar solo tutorials on subscribe star um and obviously if you wanted to get involved in uh choosing the songs there's a poll every month and it determines and everybody can vote and determines the following month's lessons so any questions about anything 
uh, let me know. Please feel free to let me know your comments or suggestions below. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already uh, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye. like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe star page or my website jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much, see you on the next one.